On my strength book, your powerlifting movements, your primary movements, are based off of your rep maximums. The most amount of weight you can lift for one rep on the squat, bench press, and deadlift. For example, my bench press one rep max is 227.5 kilos. So if I program one set of five reps at 80%, the bar load will be 182.5 kilos or 80%. When it comes to your secondary powerlifting movements, such as pod squats, narrow grip bench press, or deficit deadlifts, the default on my strength book is to base these movements off of your one rep max of the primary competition movements. So again, if I want to program narrow grip bench press, which is a secondary exercise, all of my sets and reps would be based off of that 227.5 kilo max. Now, while most people prefer this, others want to have the flexibility to set rep maximums based off whatever movement they're doing. One common example would be a secondary movement like front squats. It's obvious that not many people can front squat what they competition back squat. So you might want to set a new rep max for this particular exercise so that when you build out your sets and reps, it's calculating off the accurate load. You can do that by going to settings and then exercise library. Here you can scroll through your squat, bench press, and deadlift movements and set new rep maximums for any exercise. Again, this is not necessary and certainly our default of basing secondary movements off your competition squat, bench press, and deadlift is just fine. We simply want to build a way for those users who had a preference to set secondary rep maximums, a way to do that. One last thing, if you change your rep maximums for your primary or secondary movements from the settings, it will not change your workouts that you entered in previously. The change will only be reflected in workouts from the moment that you set the new RM moving forward. That's all you need to know about your rep maximums, both primary exercises and secondary exercises.